Hello and welcome. For the last 18 months or so, we've been doing a lot of things online using Zoom meetings, either for work or social get together is becoming the norm. In this video, I want to show you how to use OBS Studio, a free open broadcaster software that could help you spice up your Zoom calls. I will show you from start to finish how to download and install OBS onto your computer. I will set up OBS with picture in picture to do Zoom karaoke. But you could follow this example to set up picture in picture to do all sorts of other types of Zoom calls, like showing presentations, spreadsheets, slideshows, and so much more. By the way, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to let me know that you enjoy watching my videos. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does encourage me to keep on making these videos. And remember to click the bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. Okay, let's head over to the computer and get things started. First things first, do a Google search for OBS Studio. Here it is. Click download. At OBS download page, select Windows or Mac, depending on the computer you have. I use a Mac, so I'll click on the Apple. And it is now downloading. When the download is done, click open the file and follow the prompts to install OBS app. After installation is completed, click open this icon to start OBS. Okay, the first thing you want to do on a freshly installed OBS is to start creating scenes here on the bottom left. Each scene is a different layout of your camera, your video display, and any other device or media that you want to output. Sounds complicated, but it'll make sense when you follow along in this example. Why don't we create our first scene for a basic webcam setup? So let's rename this blank scene to main scenes. Then we need to add source to the scene. Click the plus button and open up this panel of options. And we want to select video capture device. Again, we can give it a new name, but I'll just leave it as it is and click OK. Now we go into device and OBS will show you all the available video capture device that are connected and available on your computer. I'm clicking on here for my webcam, but yours will be different depending on what you have. So as soon as I select it, OBS starts showing my webcam. I'll click OK but I don't like how wide my webcam shows my entire room. So I can fix this by holding down the Alt key on my keyboard and using my mouse to drag these corners to crop it. Something like this. And then I'll move this over to one corner and drag it out bigger to make it to whatever size that looks good. Okay, let's leave it like this for the time being. And we have just finished creating the main scenes. So now we can use this main scene and start our virtual camera by clicking start virtual camera and then Let's bring over Zoom. With Zoom, uh, if you start a new meeting, it'll likely go to your default webcam. But now I can go into video settings on Zoom and select OBS virtual camera. And now I am viewing exactly what OBS is showing, which is the main scene that we've just created. Okay, now let's create another scene, this time picture in picture for karaoke. We go back to scenes on the bottom left. 
you could click the plus button to add another scene. But what I like to do, since I already have my webcam set up, is to duplicate the main scene and modifying it. We can do that by right-clicking main scene and selecting duplicate. And then give it a unique name. Let's call it PIP for picture in picture. And OK. Now make sure the PIP scene is highlighted then I go over to select video capture and make my video image smaller and put it on the top left or wherever you like it to be now let's open up a browser and go to YouTube find my favorite karaoke site and search for a song Okay, let's use this one, pause the song, and make the video portion bigger. So, I've got the song all queued up. Let's move the whole browser to my other monitor. Now, you don't need a second monitor to do this because I'm also screen recording this at the same time. It would look really crazy without a dual monitor. So let's set up our picture-in-picture -picture scenes. Make sure PIP is highlighted. Click on the plus button. Choose Display Capture. Give it a new name. I'm going to use Display Karaoke. But you could name it whatever you want. Click OK. And right away, it's showing the default display, which is this monitor. I don't want that. I'll change it to the other monitor, the, the one I moved the browser with the karaoke songs too. And now we can see the karaoke video. Again, I'm holding the Alt key while cropping this to resize it to the way I want. The karaoke video is covering my face, so I'll need to rearrange the order by using these arrows on the bottom here. If you want to rename it, you could rename it whatever way you want. I'm just going to re rename it to Picture in Picture Karaoke, so it's just easier to see. All right, so I've got the uh, song queued up here. And what I'm going to do is uh, play the song and I'm going to start singing. And a little bit uh, halfway through, I'm going to be... Uh, popping up zoom so you could see what zoom uh, looked like all right here we go okay that's enough so as you can see it's really simple to set up obs to do zoom call with picture in picture there's no limit what you can do your imagination is the limit Well, that's it for this video. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button below so YouTube will share it with more people. Thanks again for watching. Remember, keep on filmmaking and have fun creating.